So four years ago, I came to my last audition. I'd tried for seven years since my first audition and I was so excited to secure a place on the dance team. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed of being on the dance team, to one day dancing on the pitch for Leeds Rhinos. And when I was selected, it was the most happiest day ever. I remember I didn't tell anybody I was going to the audition. So when I came home to tell everybody I was the new Leeds Rhinos dancer, everybody was so excited. I'm going to go see how the other girls are feeling. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Marissa and Gabrielle, the twins of the dance team. How are you feeling tonight, ladies? Yeah, we're actually feeling really good about yeah, it. Excited. Yeah, it's good. So what's made you come back again for a second season? Well, it well hopefully. Hoping we get through yeah, tonight. We'll hopefully get through. <laughs> well, our family have always been supportive of the lead Rhinos, so we've always wanted to actually cheer for them. So we thought that we'd both come together, because we lived in London for three years. But being part of a home team is so much better than being part of somewhere else. So that's what made us want Brilliant. to come back. And what dance experience have you already got? So we trained in Kingston in London at university. Um, and we actually do gymnastics and cheerleading professionally, which is really fun and fits in well with um, the rhinos dancing. And how have you prepared for the audition tonight? Oh, well, well we've <laughs> if you ask my mum, we've both been literally rehearsing in our living room. <laughs> so, yeah, That's we've good. kind of moved some wood panels on the floor. So and what was the best part fun. about being a Leeds Rhinos dancer? I'd say, yeah, I'd say the teamwork and just everyone working together. And it is like a little family. We all run on the pitch together. We all dance together. We're all training together. Um, and we do extra little events as well, which is really nice. Yeah. Well, good luck, yeah. girls. Thank I'm you sure you'll much. do really well. Thank you. Feeling empty, feel used. It's like we're running on fumes. A little broken, confused. But one thing I know for sure, ain't giving up on you. So I'm here with Nicola Booth, the captain of the Spence Properties Leeds Rhinos dance team. Nicola, what are we expecting tonight? Well, we're here for the annual audition for the dance team. Um, so we're looking for some new recruits for our dance team to perform at the Rhinos Games and the Yorkshire Carnegie Games. So what will tonight involve then? So tonight the girls will come in, they'll be warmed up um, and then they'll learn a routine, a short routine, and then they'll have to perform it back to the panel of judges and then we'll do a few cuts and hopefully we'll end up with our perfect team. And what exactly are you looking for in the girls? Um, well, I'm looking for a lot of things really. So they need to be really good technical skilled dancers. They need to have good kicks, good jumps. They need to be able to pick up fast um, and they just need to smile a lot as well. So Millie, you've been selected to be part of the Leeds Rhinos dance team 2017. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm really excited. It's just, I just came for like a bit of fun, a bit of an audition experience, but I didn't expect to get in. So. And how did you find out about the audition? Um, my friend Jordana, she asked me to come, so like, why not? What training have you had previous to um, this then? I've danced since I was little and then I've done cheerleading, like all-star cheerleading for about two, three years now. So I love cheerleading, like I just like dancing in front of big crowds. And why Leeds Rhinos? Just because it seems like such a good club to be at, like everyone, like it's a good like, f sort of like family club, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. so. And what are you most looking forward to about dancing for the Spencer Properties team? Probably just dancing with all girls, dancing in front of a crowd, just being involved. That's great, well, well done. Oh, thank you. I'm here with Jordana, who has been selected to be part of the Rhinos dance team. Jordana, how are you feeling? Um, I'm shocked. I'm really shocked, but I'm really happy. Over the moon. Is this really the first moon. time that you've auditioned for the dance team? Yeah, it is. The so you're really time. happy to get in? Really happy, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I got in. So tell me a bit about your previous dance experience. What have you done before the audition um, to prepare? I've done since I was two, and then before the audition I, don't, I didn't really know what to expect from the audition so I just did like a few stretches and stuff like that and 
I only heard about the audition a couple of days ago, so it was a bit like short notice. I was panicking a little bit, but it went well. And what made you come for the dance audition? Um, I saw you dance. I saw the team dance at a game that I came to the other week, and I just, I just thought it looked really good. You're inspired. So I thought, <laughs> come along. <laughs> and what's your previous experience? So what have you done dance-wise? Where have you trained before? Um, I've trained at the Silkstone Academy of Dance since I was two, and um, I'm a cheerleader already for Panache. Welcome to the finale of the Varsity Games. There's over 15,000 people here today to watch Leeds University and Leeds Beckett University go to head to head in the union match. Sham. Obviously, Ed and, Ed and Lee is a massive, massive student demographic. You can see it's going absolutely mental in here. Well, how do you how do you attack this demographic and how important is students to Ed and Lee and Lee's Rhinos and Josh Carnegie? Well, there's a massive student demographic around here. You're absolutely right. Very difficult to get students involved, basically. You know, there's so many things for them to do. But as you can hear, they're clearly having a great time tonight here at Ed and Lee. Yeah, it's, it's infectious. I absolutely love this. And I know at Rhinos Games we get such support and, and continued support. It's very different. This. I think there's quite a few drunk people, but it's, it's such a great night. And, and just on that support, how important has it been? And has it improved Leeds Rhinos support um, over, over the wavering form? Has it got any better? And, and has people stuck with us? Yeah, of course. The, the, the support from the fans this year has been unreal. Obviously, my job is to work with the fans, look after them, and make sure they're having, you know, the best experience they ever can have here at, at Headingley. And also throughout their customer journey, it's been mega this year, considering, you know, that hasn't been the greatest time for us. But honestly, the fans have really, really stuck by the boys. Um, and it's, you know, again, it's just massively important to us. We do have the best rugby league fans in the world. Yeah, and, and I can back that up. And and just backing Sean up um, for everything that Sean does in, with the club and in the community. She doesn't just make the fans happy, but you know she really supports the boys in, every, in everything we do and and across the game and and, and making rugby league what it is today. And these rhinos and putting these events on, which you know I, I know I stress so much about doing all this and preparing all this, but Sean, I just I just want to ask you about how important it is for your role and and, and what you do from day to day and what what's it differ to put an event on like this compared to Leeds Rhinos event? Well, well, this game, obviously, every single person in here has pretty much probably never either attended a sporting event or they've attended sporting events and it's been a far lot more straightforward than this. I mean, these guys are beasts in themselves, pure animals. They're here to have a great time. They're here to banter. They're here to have a laugh. They're here to have a couple of shandies. And that's all fine with us. And as again, you can hear this noise my god, my god, any, any sporting event I think I've ever experienced. And I'm quite sure, as a professional, it's probably rivaled the fair whack of experiences you've had as well. I know that I'd enjoy playing on a night tonight, and, and I've had my fair share of, of beautiful events, events to play and, and to take part in, but it's even distracting me now, but I love it. It's fantastic, Sean. Thanks for putting it on, and, and see who wins. I'd say nothing. <laughs>